Hello. Welcome. I will be filming a short video today about Whence is that goodly fragrance from my book, uh, Light So Brilliant. I just thought I'd talk about some of the technical challenges in it. I will start by just playing maybe the first line or so and go from there. So this glissando is something that I learned from Benjamin Britten's Ceremony of Carols. And I play it with my third finger, but you could play it with a second finger instead. And I place that thumb so it's ready and waiting. The bottom note of the glissando is not as important. I, I don't specifically play it, but I sort of brush my finger past it. And the thing that is most important about this, two things, keep it really light. It's not a full-blown glissando, it's more of an effect. Uh, this is my idea of how you portray the sound, or the idea of a fragrance flowing in music. Um, so yeah, it's an effect. And then you're not aiming for your thumb as you pull your third finger up. You don't want it you don't want them to meet at the top. Rather, you want this lower finger to be continuing to close underneath while your thumb plays. So having it stay soft and then also having a vertical space between your thumb and either your three or your two as you play them. That took me a, a bit of time before it felt comfortable, so uh, just keep practicing if it doesn't sound right and then um, err on the softer side also. Uh, I think people just tend to play them too loud in general. So I will start um, next at the second verse which is about halfway through that third line. We have kind of an Alberti bass pattern but it's happening in your right hand so it's got a lot going on. second most difficult part of it because you've just got so much going on. My advice here is keep your melody in your mind at all times. Your thumb is the melody in your right hand. You want to bring that out and then whatever fingers are playing these lower notes just keep them fairly soft. As opposed to if they're all the same importance, it starts to sound really chunky. And just very, very labored. It's actually more work that way too. Uh, same thing in the left hand. Not all of the notes have the same importance. The, it's this piece is in three, four. So the first beat of every measure is the most important one and you wanna bring that out dynamically. And all your other notes in your left hand are gonna be getting softer throughout each measure. So let me just play that for you. This is the left hand of the second verse. Note, notice how that first beat is always more important because you don't want it to sound specific individual notes are not important. They're just there to kind of keep this chord moving throughout each measure. Um, yeah, so right hand alone, left hand alone, right hand alone, left hand alone, both hands together, 
very slowly on this part. And whenever I play this, I have to be thinking and hearing the melody really firmly in my head. Otherwise it gets kind of chunky and um, just kind of boring and difficult. <laughs> so right hand thumb melody, most important. Uh, I wanted to skip ahead and just play this first ending at the top of the second page for these big chords, which I really like. Make sure when you're playing these chords that you know what they're shaped like and that you can just put all four fingers on at once as a shape like that. And then you want to be rolling ahead of the beat. So just start rolling probably a little earlier even than you would expect. And I do a retard there uh, before going back. To the repeat. So I love that bit. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to finish up here by playing for you the last line, which is probably my favorite, and um, see how it kind of all fades away. <laughs> helpful for you. Um, just a lot of right hand alone, left hand alone for everybody, even if you've been playing harp forever. I suggest that on this one. And uh, glisses, staying really soft, thinking about the melody always. Um, I, I wrote this arrangement and I just have to keep it in mind at all times. Otherwise it just doesn't quite click. So. Uh, if you have specific questions about this, feel free to add them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And also, if you have other pieces from uh, this book that you'd like me to do a little video about, I haven't gone through them all. So let me know if you have preference about that. Thank you again for watching.